right, so I am doing a initial review on the Cano PC. If you don't know what the Cano PC is, it is the best tool, in my opinion, for teaching your kids how to code. And the reason I say that is because for parents who have no background or history in software or coding, it's still so easy to set your kids up, get them going on lessons, and even learn some coding yourself. So that's why I am kind of leaning towards the Cano over all the other programs out there for kid coding. Um, but let me know what you think. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments, or you can um, hit me up on Instagram. Our email is contact at thedailycraze.com. If you are interested in purchasing the PC, there is a link in the description that will take you directly to the order page um, and detail page. So if you do have additional questions, you can just go there too. All right, so very first thing that we noticed when we opened or turned on the Cano was that, oh snap, this is a real life computer. And that might sound funny, but with the cool red and blue speakers and the battery that you put together on the back, I was kind of getting like leapfrog vibes in my brain, like that would be how the computer was. But no, this is a full blown computer. Uh, this, These are the icons that come with it. So I didn't install anything, I just turned it on. This is the how computers work section and it shows your child for each subject or each part, it's going to show your child where a picture of it and the back of the computer is clear. So they'll be able to take a look at the actual parts of the computer. So that's the physical part of computers, how they work, what the pieces are, which is really beneficial. And then once you have gone through that with your child, you can hit this orange icon. And this is where the actual coding portion is. So you'll open up Cano Code. And if you are familiar with GitHub, this is basically a GitHub for kids. If you're not familiar with GitHub, this is where you'll go for your kids. Uh, child to create projects, store their projects, and share their projects. So they have coding instruction uh, videos, or not videos, but challenges. Here you can see it's going to teach them how to actually use the blocks and variables, loops. These are kind of the intro to coding that they have and this explore section is where they're actually going to see other kids projects so for some reason if you're bored or not feeling the coding challenges that Cano has you can get inspiration from other kids projects now the avatar is you know you just create an avatar but the cool thing is they have medals which once your child accomplishes um, certain tasks or gets certain amount of points they have these really cool badges which is going to be really beneficial, especially if you're incorporating it into your homeschool program to kind of keep them motivated. All right. So my second favorite thing about the Cano is that it comes with or, or not comes with, but there is additional software you can purchase with this computer. The default or the one that came with it was Harry Potter. And there are physical devices that you purchase for your kid to use while coding. So for the Harry Potter one, it's a wand that they'll use. There are other themes like Star Wars and Frozen that use a different device, but these themes help engage your child even more. And each of these circles is going to be a different level. And they go throughout the theme work through challenges and it's just really cool but again that's going to be something additional separate that you purchase um and uh we're thinking about getting the the star wars one for the kids but okay this is my absolute favorite thing you'll go to create and this is where it's going to bring your child to a coding sandbox this is where the coding actually happens like a lot of apps and other computers they use these blocks for children to learn how to code, to kind of get the logic down, to understand how you would speak to a computer, which is really great. One of my struggles was trying to figure out how I move from these blocks to teaching them the real life code. Well, with Cano, the cool thing is on the right hand side, there's a JavaScript section where it's going to show your child the actual real life computer code for what it was they just made. So you you have a side-by-side -side visual of the blocks that 
help your child understand how to talk to computers. And then the translation on the right of what real software developers are using as far as when they're coding their um, programs, which is great because you can then um, transfer once your child gets to a certain age and no longer needs the blocks. They already have seen the real life code so many times doing these challenges that they'll ease into um, real coding a lot easier. So that hands down is one of my favorite um, things and uh, something that I think is missing from a lot of other apps for children that are coding. Right. And if your kid is not really inclined to code to make timers or anything like that, there is the art icon where they can utilize coding for making pictures, which is really fun for some kids. Um, now, the if you go to the Internet, the Internet Explorer and go to canoworld.com, um, it's going to be the same format as the one that's on your computer. However, this is going to have a some extra lessons so for example you see this looks like the page we were on but we have this coronavirus learning at home so that's the additional thing that you're going to get if you go online um, and same thing just different coding challenges this is a wash your hand timer and you click on it it's going to bring up the project and literally takes you step by step on on what's going on how it's working and uh, taking your kid with um, through how to code it So it is a tablet as well. So you just pop it off of the keyboard and there will be a little message that says, do you want to switch to tablet mode? Uh, and then you use it as a touch screen instead of using the um, keyboard. There's also a mouse that you can buy with the PC. There was a special running. I, I need to double check if it's still going. If it is, I'll put it in the description. But if you buy the computer, you get the mouse for free uh, was the current special that I saw. Um, but again, if you are interested in purchasing the PC, go ahead to that link in the description. Um, and if there are any questions you have before purchasing it, definitely let me know. I'll talk to him whenever it's more close to the line, buddy. No. No. What did I? <laughs>